Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I have the overview of episode 5 of The Bad Batch. And I'm going to be honest, today's episode was kind of a filler episode, kind of not. Unfortunately, none of my predictions came through, again, but it was all in all a pretty good episode. So, we start the episode off by literally, once again, leading off the end of the last one. Wrecker's headache seems to be piping up again, which is kind of concerning, not gonna lie. Oh, I think I know where that's going. Anyway, we um, see the Bad Batch decide to, uh, instead, of lie instead of lying low, they're gonna try and find out who the hell is hunting for Omega. Because that seems to be their priority concern now, because, you know, it just came out of the blue and the Bad Batch wants to know what's going on. So... They now head to the planet, I think it was called um, Ordo Man's Hell. Yeah, I think that was it. And they head down there. They find some an informant from the Clone Wars called Sid, who the Jedi have worked with. Unfortunately, Echo has never met them, and he was the only one who knew about them, thanks to probably Anakin and, and Ahsoka. So he's probably gone down. He's probably gone to this planet thinking, I know this person's here. Don't know who they are, but I know that they're here. They find them, although they don't believe that it's them at first, and Omega clicks like this. Which again, is making me a bit suspicious on her abilities. <coughs> Force sensitive. <coughs> Just saying. So, Sid says, Okay, um, I will find out who is hunting Omega if you do a job for me. And then, the Bad Batch find out that they are to find somebody from a bunch of Zygerian slave traders, which is a callback to the Clone Wars, called Moochie. And Moochie becomes very important later on. So the Bad Batch head to the Zygerian slave trader outpost. They find who they think is Moochie. Emphasising think. But before that happens... um. Omega has a near run-in with the Zygerian slave traders on their ship as um, Hunter told her to stay at the ship and she managed to jump out, but by the time she jumped out, the Bad Batch had already been captured by the Zygerian slave traders. Well done, guys. Great work. So, it is now Omega's task to go and free them. Because, um, they're a bit stuck. Um... Then Omega creates a distraction, releases an adolescence rancor, by the way, then sets that thing loose on all of the Zygerians, and I'll get back to the rancor in a few minutes. I have a theory on that. Anyway, so she sets the rancor loose on the Zygerians, the rancor goes completely insane, Wrecker breaks free of his chains, frees the others, they grab their armour, and then they have to go and find Moochie. Well, they think they've found Moochie already. They think it's a, an alien. But then it turns out Moochie is the Rancor. So now uh, the Bad Batch have to go and hunt this adolescent Rancor down. And um, try and make sure it doesn't kill them. That's fun. Then Tech reveals to um, Wrecker that... They work on a social hierarchy, and um, they have to fight for authority. Raka takes that task almost immediately. So, um, then there's a little bit of a fight between Raka and the Rancor, to the point where they're just throwing punches very slowly, because they're both super exhausted. And then they kind of collapse on each other, because they're just so ruined. And then um, Hunter says to... Wrecker, good job, kid. And then Wrecker's just like, <sighs> thanks. <sighs> yeah, Wrecker is not feeling well. Then we cut to the very end of the episode. Yes, I know I've rushed through this, but this is all that's happened pretty much. And then we see who was look looking for Moochie. It is none other than Bib Fortuna. And if you don't remember Bib, he is a... Jabba the Hutt's um, Twi'lek right-hand man from Return of the Jedi to, well, from the Phantom Menace to Return of the Jedi, which is pretty cool to see. And here's where that theory comes in. I think Moochie is that very same rancor 
from Return of the Jedi. You know the one that tries to kill Luke when he gets thrown into the Rancor pit? I think it's him. It just seemed a bit too strange as it was a young Rancor, and I can assume that it would be the right age to be said Rancor from Return of the Jedi. So I think Moochie is that very famous first ever Rancor that we saw in Return of the Jedi. And if that is the case, that would be really, really cool. I, I really want that to be the case. Dave Filoni, please tell us that's the case. But yeah, um, once Bib Fortuna shows up to collect Moochie, Sid has gathered some information on the bounty hunter. We, of course, officially, well, of course, the Battle Batch find out that it's Fennec Shand. Um, Re Hunter asks, do we know who who's hired her? And Sid says, no. So we don't know who's hired her yet. I'm still going for Boba Fett, just saying. Um, but we know that Fennec is now new into the bounty hunting scene. We get a reference to the guild, which is, of course, from the Mandalorian, the bounty hunter guild. And, yeah, so we know that we still don't know who has hired Fennec Shand. But again, my theory, it seems a bit too... A bit... It seems pretty obvious to me, at least. I could be wrong. Not gonna lie, I could be well off the pace. But somehow, I... I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure that Fennec Shand has been hired by Boba Fett to hunt Omega. And it would make sense, as Omega is kind of a fat clone. But again, I think there's a bit of a hybrid situation going on there with, with Fett and Palpatine. Just saying. Anyway, that is my overview for episode 5 of The Bad Batch. Um, let me... Right, so. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my Nandrox Hands YouTube channel. Her link is down in the link tree in the description. Um, and my sub button is down there. Yep, that big red one. Unless you've already subbed, then it's grey. Thanks for that, by the way. Um, and once you've subbed, don't forget to click both of our bell icons to get both sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know what you thought of this episode of The Bad Bash, and if you think my theories could be on the right lines. Um, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Stereo. And Roxanne on her blog. Those links are also in the link tree in the description. And lastly, of course... Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye!